In this video, we're going to go over sliding effects in jQuery. And basically, you can slide any element up or down that you want in jQuery. And jQuery provides two methods to do this, the slide down method and the slide up method. So we're going to take a look at that syntax in this video. Now you can see here I've created an extra button to our code that we've been working on throughout the series, and I've given that an ID of test B. So we got two buttons down here now, not just one. And one will slide the section up, and one will slide the section down. And we're going to work against our very favorite section, this right section right here. And so again, you can see I've created some jQuery code for our first button. We've been using that all along. And I've created some other jQuery code for our second button. And we're going to select that with our ID. And of course, that is pound test B. So let's go ahead and first we want to set up our slide up button, this one right here, which will slide this section up. So let's go ahead and get the ID for that section. Of course, it is right. So we'll go ahead and just put in pound right here, something we've been doing a lot throughout the series. And of course, we're going to use this for our other button as well. So we might as well go ahead and copy and paste it in there as well. Now, the first function that we want to do, of course, is slide this section up. So all we do is type in slide up, and that should slide this section up. And we'll see it work in a minute. And then for our second button down here, we're just going to slide the section down. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and let's see if this works. And it did, look at that. Now, if we wanna slide the section down, we hit this button and it works. Now again, you can use these methods for any type of element that you want. You could slide just the individual paragraphs up and down if you wanted to. It's really very simple to use. Now, similar to the fade effects in jQuery, there's also a toggle method that we can use. And what that does is sort of combines both of these methods and puts it into one method where you can toggle it up and down. So again, that's similar to the fade toggle method. So let's go ahead and we'll just type in here, slide toggle, and it's that simple. Now, of course, we don't need this button anymore, right? Because this handles both the up and down in one method. But we'll go ahead and keep this button and function here just so you have it as an example. But again, we don't even need to worry about this button anymore. We can handle everything now with this slide toggle method. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And now let's go ahead and slide the section up. And let's slide it down. See how that works? We get the best of both worlds in the slide toggle method. So if you didn't want to have two buttons, you just wanted to have it in one button, you can accomplish that as well. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.